I am gonna be going with Sully and Loretta to their first midwife appointment. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> Morning Seekers, I'm glad you found us today. It is Wednesday. Um, I'm up early getting ready to take Finn to school, but lately I've been letting the chickens out because this is what we are dealing with in our yard. Yeah, those are all weeds, and we're used to not having them because the chickens eat them all. But since we penned them in last year, we've got a weed problem. So. Every morning I've been letting them out so they could roam around the yard and then I call them in the afternoon with their treats instead of bringing the treats like mid-morning um, so that they can, they'll come back in. So I'm about to let them out to roam. All right, come on, chickens, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Everybody out, come on. Chick, chick, chicks. Chick, 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 chickies. Pancake and sausage, they're doing really well. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. How you guys doing? The flock seems to be tolerating babies really well because we had so many of different ages. They didn't even care when I put pancake and sausage in there. And here's the other baby. I think this one's a rooster. He looks different than the other ones with his white front. Here's one of the little girls here. Super cute. I can't remember their names. I think that one's Black Diamond, but I'm not so sure. Finn's driving to school. Wish us luck. Liquid courage. <laughs> is an excellent driver um, I've had I've taught a lot of kids how to drive and I have to say that I think Finn and Oliver have been my easiest I've hardly driven with Finn we just been too busy to do it he's only driven with me like three four times and I'm never nervous when we're driving because he is very intuitive he goes the right speeds he doesn't drift so doesn't almost hit people <laughs> things like that um, yeah, he is a really, really excellent driver. So good job, Finn. You did great. We made it to school on time. Now I'm heading home. I got to get Eloise up because we are heading to her physical therapy appointment. This is the one where we will determine whether or not she's okay after two weeks of dancing if she can do the recital next week. I really hope he says yes. She has been experiencing some pain, especially after a heavy dance day. But I'm hoping that's just muscle strain and not anything serious. So... Wish us luck, and then later this afternoon, I am gonna be going with Sully and Loretta to their first midwife appointment. Um, the midwives are my midwives that I used with Ruby and Jasper, and so I'm just kinda like gonna show them the lay of the land because the place is kinda confusing, and wait for them in the waiting room. Just be a good support person because this is her first baby and her mom lives in Canada, so just gonna be good old support mom today. So, wish us luck, hopefully today goes well, and we'll catch y'all in a little while. We are back in the car. We are heading to physical therapy. You don't have a seatbelt on. So we're not going yet. Uh, I don't know if Eloise has been doing her exercises. The first few days I kind of checked in with her and then after that I stopped. I have, but I've been forgetting to put them into the thing. Okay, but you've been still doing them? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, really hoping that everything's just going to be fine like it was last time. And... We'll get a green light for recital next week. Here's hoping.
Okay, so the consensus was she's totally fine. She has some soreness and some tightness, but she's still working on that. And we have graduated from physical therapy. We only had to have two visits and we are done. So she's okay to go ahead and do the recital next week as planned. And yeah, everything's perfect. So way to go, Eloise. He seemed really, really surprised. He was like, it's kind of awkward not making another appointment, but you don't need it. <laughs> I don't want to pay for it, so it's good with me. Okay, we are at the Women's Center, and I left my mask in my car, and it came in their car, so I'm hoping they'll let me in. I think they'll let me in? Yeah, they'll just hand you a mask. I hope so. for the clippity clop. <laughs> excited to be there and super super like I was in the way and doing you know like being in somebody else's space where I should probably not be if anyone's wondering why they waited so long to see the midwife she's 18 weeks um, it was because they've been trying to figure out insurance and finally we decided we were just gonna forget the insurance and just not worry about it and just go into self-pay until they figure it out and so that's why she didn't see anybody but everything's fine and they were totally cool that they they didn't seem weirded out or anything that she waited that long and everything looks good with the baby so far and they're well on their way now almost halfway I can't even believe it I'm about to be a grandma have kids who are parents is just well it's weird but <laughs> I like it it's a good weird so now I am I'm just getting home I'm getting home late so Ronnie has already taken Jasper and Ruby to dance without me. Dropped Virginia off. She's doing all my mom duties. I hope she's doing okay. Um, but yeah, I was running late because of the blood work. We didn't expect, I, I didn't think about the, them having to go and get blood work done. And so I'm just getting home now. I'm gonna grab my things that I need and then I'm gonna go meet them down at the dance studio. Well guys, four broody chickens in here and there were two in the other box. This one just, 
raised chicks. They're only seven weeks old, eight weeks old, and she's already broody again. This is the problem with broody chickens, guys. You may let them raise babies, but they may just go back to being broody. This one is actually sitting on eggs. And every time I come in here, I wonder if she's got any babies, because it's getting close, I know it. I can't remember what day I put them under, though. What you got? You got any babies under there? Any pips? I don't see any babies. I keep expecting soon there will be baby chicks. But every day someone lays eggs in here so I have to take her out. totally went to dance had a great time and we didn't record anything we were having so much fun hanging out with our friends weren't we yeah so we're tired we're gonna go make some dinner and I think that's gonna be the end for the vlog today it was super cute seeing Sully and Loretta's baby today and we're so glad that Eloise is given the green light for recital Today was our last practice, or Jasper and Ruby's last practice for these classes before recital. Huh, Jasper? Are you ready for recital? Ready to go on stage? Awesome. So I guess we're just going to say thank you for watching. Give a like. Comment. Subscribe. And, and seek your truth. truth. Bye, Bye, seekers. Find us later. later.